Hey everyone, welcome back to Shanghai China, I'm Andy. Today it's Friday the 14th of February 2020, and I'll be trying my best to answer a viewer question regarding what Shanghai expats need to do when they return from overseas. There's been a lot of discussion of quarantine and other measures, which is rightly worrying a lot of foreigners. Stefan Moore is an American who's been teaching in Shanghai for around six years. He's currently in Rome, Italy and about to fly back for work, but he's nervous. Let's check out his question. But now I'm ready to return to Shanghai and I'm a little bit worried as to what will happen once I return. I've been uh, hearing conflicting information as to who's getting quarantined, who's not getting quarantined, who do you register with, what do you do, and it's really worrying and bothering me right now because I don't want to land in Shanghai and be forced to be in a self-quarantine when I haven't been infected, I haven't been around anyone from Wuhan or anyone who's been ill, and I'm perfectly healthy myself. Uh, so yes, there's a lot of misinformation going around and it would be nice to get some clarity as to what exactly was go it's going on. Thanks for your question, Stefan. I did a bit of research and found that, firstly, those returning to Shanghai will need to fill in this health declaration card at the airport, which basically asks about your current health status and whether or not you've been to Hubei province and so on. Then you'll have your temperature taken and be allowed in as usual, if everything's as it should be. Now the tricky part, and the reason so many have become worried, is that some landlords, including Stefan's, are stating that home isolation of 14 days is required, even for those returning from overseas who have had no connection with Hubei province or anyone affected with COVID-19. In terms of local government regulations, home isolation of 14 days applies to those who have come from or passed through Hubei province and or those who have been in contact with someone who's tested positive for COVID-19. Last night I called the Shanghai government hotline on 12345 to try and get some answers. Let's have a listen to some of that conversation. I received a call back this morning and they told me that while home isolation for those who return to Shanghai from overseas is not a government policy, some communities have added that requirement, although he did point out that it's not legally binding and is instead a strong suggestion. So I'm afraid the answer to the home quarantine question for those returning from overseas is a bit murky at present. Does the government require those coming from overseas to enter into home isolation for two weeks? No, but your community might. If you have any concerns, it's best to ask your landlord or community directly for their current guidelines. Well, that was a lot of information to digest today, but I hope it makes the situation just a little bit clearer. Do you think these measures by some Shanghai communities is a bit over the top? And should they be making stringent rules above and beyond the local government recommendations? Let me know what you think. And on that note, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.